The Buddha said that all skillful qualities are rooted in heedfulness, in the same way that all the footprints of the animals that walk on earth can be fit into the footprint of an elephant. Heedfulness covers everything. His last instructions were on heedfulness, but not just on heedfulness. He said, bring about completion through heedfulness. And the rules of Pali syntax are different from those in English. His actual last word was, bring about completion. What did he mean? We could become complete in your virtue, complete in your views. Those are things you really need to depend on. Being complete in your virtue means that you hold to the precepts. You make your precepts pleasing to the noble ones, conducive to concentration. They're pleasing to the noble ones and because you hold them all the time, without exception. They're conducive to concentration because you don't let them become a, a source of dis-ease. Some people, when they take the precepts, get really worked up about them, about minor infractions. And you have to remember their training rules. And yes, you do want to become comfortable holding the precepts all the time, but you don't want them to be a source of worry. So remember, you're here to train to get better and better and better at the precepts. I was reading recently a statement by some monks from a famous monastery in Bangkok that part of being wise knows, means knowing when to follow the, what the Buddha taught and when to follow your own discernment. And what he was basically doing was giving excuses for breaking the rules. That's not discernment. It may be clever, but it's not discerning. When you're really discerning, you know how to hold to the precepts even when it's difficult. In situations, say, when you have some information that someone else would like to have and you are pretty sure that they would misuse it, how do you keep from telling them without telling a lie? That exercises your discernment. So trying to be complete in your precepts. To be complete in your views means that you hold to the basic principles that the Buddha said are true across the board, everywhere and always. To develop skillful qualities and to abandon unskillful ones to focus on the question of why you're suffering and how you're causing the suffering, and what you can do to put an end to that suffering. The more you develop your right views in this area, the more your views become complete. Now you can read about the views, memorize them, but a large part of developing right view means putting them into practice, practicing virtue, practicing concentration, and then developing the discernment that comes out of concentration. It's in this way that you become complete in these areas. So it's not just a matter of being heedful. It's a matter of not resting until you've reached the end. You sometimes have to rest to gather your strength. But it's about not resting just to leave the path. That's not what we want. You rest so that you can stay on the path. And then you pick yourself up and you keep on going. That was the example the Buddha set for us, and that's an example we should hold in our minds. He did what he could to help us to show the way. Now it's up to us to follow the way and to use our discernment in following it. So we can come become complete, <clears throat> can become complete in things that really matter.